the little one. How you doing this morning? Good morning. In the kitchen, at home, all by myself today. No babysitting, my great niece's kids, because baby, because she's at home, not working today, because they're off at school. My sister's out off at work. My brother-in-law's off at work. My nephew's off at work. Just me today. And I'm getting ready to make a pitcher of tea. So quiet in the house. It's always so noisy around here. Got the kids running around. My great niece is running around being crazy. My nephew's kids is running around being crazy. Cause my nephew had, had to move in a couple years ago. Cause him and his old lady split up. So his kids, his kids come and they visit for like a week. So, you know, the kids are all being loud, running around, being crazy. And then you got, you got my sister and brother-in-law yelling at them and griping and yelling at me to get them because they're not listening. It's just, it's just crazy around here. If I have a day, nobody's here. It's just me. Thank God. Amen on that. <laughs> but like I said, I'm gonna make this uh make some tea here. Get tea. Come with me. How you doing? Let me know how your morning's going. This Friday morning. Or Friday early morning wherever you're at or Friday night. Leave a, leave a comment. We'll make some tea. Tea's good for you. That's what I heard anyway. <laughs> Open it up here. Don't want to open. Oh, I got it now. Yeah. Well, leave comments. Let me know how your Friday morning is going, or early morning, or Friday, uh, Friday night. Depends where you're at. Yeah, leave comments. Uh, leave comments uh, about my videos. Yeah, I've been making. So I've, been, I've been making it for about, say about, about 10, 11 months now, you know, not getting paid for the videos, you know, not, not full YouTuber yet, you know, you gotta get 4,000 thumbs up and 10 millions. Uh, two million subscribers, I guess it is. Four thousand likes. I think I already said that. I'm a little confused. I'm deluxe. Or a thousand likes, whatever, whatever it is. Well, that's why I gotta get. My goal is to get that silver YouTube plaque. I think that'd be pretty cool sitting on my shelf there. You know, to be able, you know, see that sit on my shelf, knowing that I made these videos, and everybody, you know, use the viewers came by and watched them, with 26 subscribers, and helped me get to my goal to get that silver YouTube plaque. You know, and it'd be a, a major, you know, 
I won't say major accomplishment for me because I'm dyslexic. You know, see that plaque up there? Yeah, it'd be awesome. I throw this trash away. My tea. The tea boss. Thought I'd drew on Florida for a second. Pretty nice morning out. A few clouds. Might rain. Bring you over here. I'm throwing it all over the place, ain't I? <laughs> I see it over there. Let's see if you can see me over here. Oh, yeah, that's better. Get some tea out. Oh, I'll show you, show you something here. Show you something here. My brother in law said, buy the big tea bags. You buy these little bitty old tea bags with the string and a piece of paper at the top. For one used tea for one cup. You know, for one cup of tea. And I gotta use nine of these to make one pitcher of tea. And I have to check them. Flip them over like this and shake them. Make sure there ain't no tea coming out of them because I don't like tea grounds in my tea. And then I cut, 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 take some scissors or a knife, cut the string, because I don't like paper or string in my tea either. Yeah, I don't know why he does that. I don't know why he buys the one with the string and the, you just the one use for the one cup, cup of tea. You know, he, 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 was, he was buying the big tea bags, and then sometimes he just goes and he buys these. I don't know why. I don't know. Maybe it's just cheaper, you know. Maybe it's, uh, it's, it's, uh, that's what they have. You know, things the way they are with the economy being bad. You know, inflation and you know, food prices being up and everything. You know, people ain't making as much money as they used to, especially for the Americans. You know, the bad government, everybody over there in our government, you know, you know, the president, the that time don't even know what the hell he's doing. Oh, what he's saying. Yeah. Can't wait for next year to get here, 2024. I am for sure going out to the polls, to the building, and voting for our next president and our next uh, Senate for next year because things has got to change in America. This is just crazy. The things that's been going on. You know, him signing the release, you know, letting millions and millions and upon thousands of Im illegal immigrants into the United States. You know, you don't know if they're bad people. Probably about 95.5% are good people just uh, wanting to come over to make a better life for their family over there in their country. But the other 5% are bad people, you know? You know, people come over here doing, you know, this, this, whatever this drug is I've been hearing about, you know, killing thousands of Americans. And, you know, then you got the coronavirus, we've got millions of in the illegal. These illegal immigrants, like I said, you know, they're probably good people, come over with this coronavirus, you know, passing it on to Americans, and you know, the immigrants, you know, they get free housing and 
free money from the government and you know they're taking American American people's hard earned working jobs from them you know because it's cheaper just to pay an immigrant who's over here illegal it's cheaper you know paying less money than a, than a, than a American citizen it's crazy it's crazy and then you got the whole thing that's going on you know, I made a blog about this on my, on my other blog, this whole thing. You know, the Hawaii, you know? You know? That big old wildfire over there in Hawaii that none of the news media is covering. Which is crazy. They cover, they cover you know, the attack on the Twin Towers, you know, back, you know, way back then. And they're not covering this on Hawaii. It's crazy. It's crazy. But, you know, like I said in my other blog, you know, with Hawaii, you have the means, you know, and you can do it, and you got the money, you know. I'm sure they're taking donations, and I'm sure you can find it on the Internet, you know. Donate water, food, medical supplies, uh, and money. Because they need help. Be they need help the over there. Over there and pray for them. Pray for they can find their families over there. Because there's like two hundred thousand plus or more missing still, and it's just it's horrible what's going on over there. And uh, you know, to throw this trash away here. Yeah, but it's just crazy what's going on here in America. You know, these are my thoughts, you know, about that. And just, you know, things are bad here in America. I don't care what anybody says. You know, this president keeps going up, getting on there saying, you don't know, butt from a hole in the ground. You know, everything's good. We're right where we're supposed to be. I'll be right back. I ain't nothing but a simple man. Call me a redneck or reckon that I am But there's things going on that make me mad to the core I gotta work like a dog to make ends meet Got crooked politicians and crime in the street And I'm madder than hell and I ain't gonna take it no more We tell our kids to just say no Anyways, judge lets a drug dealer go Slaps him on the wrist and turns him back out on the town but If I had my way with those selling dope Take a big top tree and a short piece of rope I Hang them up high and let them swing till the sun goes down Hit the thumbs up, subscribe and notification bell